Congratulations, how excited were you to sign on? Oh yeah, you know, it's a great achievement for me and I've been striving for it for a long time, so it worked pretty hard and yeah, over the moon. Can you tell us a bit of background of, of where you've come from? Because you've sort of gone up the ranks. And... Yeah, yeah, so I've pretty much started my juniors around, you know, Beau Morris and then I moved on to North Caulfield and then first senior football was in uh, Division 1, Malvern days in, I don't know, 2010 I think, and then played again the year after Division 2 and then uh, John Anastasiadis got gave me the call up to join, uh, join Bentley Greens. Uh, from there, Darren saw me and picked me up in the youth team. And then that's how it all happened. So, so you were with Malvern in Divi One and Divi Two. Yeah, yeah. And got relegated one year and stayed on and played again. So to get more senior football under my belt. So I think it you know bode me well for the step up. Have you checked your Wikipedia page? <laughs> I have, yes. Oh, we're just talking about that, just sussing out what's true, what isn't. So there's a bit of stuff about your family and oh, fake cups and all that, is that? I think my uncle's been jumping on there a little bit, <laughs> trying to get it all right. So I think it's all pretty, pretty accurate. So. All right. So can you just give us a bit of a rundown? Oh well, my Wikipedia page. Yeah. I haven't been on it recently, but <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I well, was basically my granddad. You know, he's an ex-pro in England. I uh, played 55 FA Cup final and. Um, 58 World Cup, so you know, obviously he's been a big impact on me, and sort of that's you know our family's a big football family, and I've grown up watching it, grown up loving it, and you know it's just it's in our blood, I suppose. Yeah. Who do you play for? Uh, Newcastle United and Northern Ireland in the World Cup 58. So. Um, just tell us when when you did get the news, or even when you started playing for the victory. What did it mean to you? Did you expect it to come this soon? Uh, you mean for the first team or for for the youth team? Yeah, for the first team. Oh, for the first team. No, I, I just you know uh, Darren Davies, you know, took me on board and just trying to learn as much as possible from him. And I learned a hell of a lot. And you know, it, it was a big step up from the Premier League to the youth league. You know, and then you know, just tried to get fit and get up to pace with it. And uh, and you know, brought us in and made us like train a little bit and got used to it and yeah it's a big surprise but yeah it's all it's all good so pretty happy about it. Did your folks migrate here or your grandparents? Or? Uh, my folks yeah we were, uh, they were in um, Hong Kong for 16 odd years or so and moved over here in 2002 when I was eight so started playing football obviously when I was in Hong Kong but first junior club was Bo Morris. And your what? father is uh, Rocky Fo Unsen? Yeah he was an ex uh, Hong Kong international Played in you know the sevens and stuff over there, so yeah, a pretty sporty family. You didn't consider playing rugby? I did for a bit actually in Hong Kong. I was you know a bit of a hockey player, soccer player, and just a bit of an all-rounder. But um, obviously, I chose the one that was best suited to me, and that's football. So, so you excuse the ignorance. Are you eligible for soccer stuff? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I got a uh, yeah, obviously, I got citizenship here, so passport. Yeah, all okay. good. And. Um, is it true that you're a mad victory fan as a kid? Oh yeah, I went to most games, you know, sort of went to every game and watched the guys and it's kind of surreal a little bit, still pinching myself that I'm actually, you know, on the same pitch as them, so. So Spies told us that you were one of the mad victory fans uh, <laughs> cheering very loudly. I think it was even the coach that pointed it out. <laughs> yeah, I had a year in there, it was a bit of fun. So I was a bit younger, but so yeah. A couple of years ago when you were in the State League, did you think, uh, you'd probably struggle to, you know, get a professional contract? Well, yeah, there was that element. I mean, you always got to got to believe, don't you? And um, there was times, yeah, when I thought, you know, I'm just trying to step up to, to DB2 level. And, I, you know, that that in itself was a struggle as a 15, 16 year old. So, you know, so I suppose didn't really have any, any expectations, but now that I'm here, I'm over the moon, so. And in terms of your game, have you tried to model yourself on, on anyone in particular? Uh, not particularly, no. I just try and, you know, if the coach tells me something to do, I just try and, you know, follow his instructions and adapt to, to the various teams I've been in, so, yeah. Tell us about Ange, because he's picked a lot of you youth league yeah. guys this season, giving you the chance, and almost the belief. Is, was there a real sense in the youth league team that you've got an opportunity under Ange? <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw uh, Andrew Naboot. Uh, we all saw him take the first step up and it kind of it did sort of unite the boys a little bit and everyone sort of thought you know we can actually do it from here so I think there's been a fair few of us and yeah so it gave us that little bit of belief and it was always drummed into us from Daz that you know that's the aim for all of us youth players is to make that step. And uh, this weekend uh, Flora is still training away from the group but if he gets through tomorrow he will play we're told. Uh, how much of a boost is it to get him back? Oh, oh, Marcos is unbelievable. You know, he trains so well and, yeah, like, you miss him. But I think Arch done well last week going in as a 10 and I think we've got the depth that we can, you know, adjust and cover that. So, 
How much do you believe you've improved under Ange? Oh, a hell of a lot. I can't can't describe how much, you know, I just sort of, and the frequency of training and training with all the guys, you know, that just the, the professionalism and it's just taught me a new sort of meaning of the game and I've learned tenfold a lot, hell of a lot, so, yeah. Do you watch Marco Rojas as well and try to maybe... Yeah, definitely, yeah, he's, you know, he's obviously quality scored however many goals this year and he gets in the right areas and I'm trying to trying to model his game a little bit and get in those in spots and I've still got a, a lot to learn, so, but yeah, I'm just trying to learn off him and Arch and the guys, so... Did you um did you yourself when you made your senior debut? <laughs> yeah, I was a bit I was a bit nervous to be honest. I think uh, my mates were taking pictures of me in the tunnel walking out and I looked pretty scared, but uh, it's you got to do it, don't you? So did you feel feel like like you belonged from the get go? Was it that first goal that really gave you the um, confidence? Well, I pretty much picked the ball up on debut and just had a run with it and just you know. So, so I wanted to see what happened, but uh, yeah, the goal gave me a lot of confidence and you know, players and they keep helping me out training and keep geeing me up and stuff and if something goes wrong, you know, don't worry, next time, next time, so that all helps as well. So. And are you studying at the moment? Or? Yeah, I'm at uh, Deakin studying two subjects at the moment. What are you studying? Uh, commerce and law, I would agree, so okay. that's on a little bit of a hold at the moment, Might going back to part time, yeah. yeah, so I'll be back there next week, I think. And then you spoke a little bit about Ange, obviously against the Raw um, this weekend. It was pretty humiliating earlier in the season. Yeah. You weren't around, but are the boys really wanting to get that one back? Oh, well, nothing's really changed this week at training. You know, it's sort of, we're all aiming just to, to get back in, in the winner's circle. And I think we showed that last week. So hopefully we can just keep this form up into the finals. So it's nothing really in particular on last performance against them. So.